Yeah. All right, let's do this. Yeah, that should be it then. I think we're good. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So let me share my screen now. What uh, detour file did you, did you open up? So I wasn't, I was just going to like start from the beginning and like just make Perfect. one to begin with. So that'd be great. Like just go from. I have, you know. I have everything you have. So let me open back those timing sheets from a while ago. Let me turn that down. Okay. You hear me? I can hear you. Okay. So I was just, so I've just got a, can you see my screen? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I was just going to start from the very beginning. So the first thing we always want to do is like to add like the background so that you can draw like the roads over everything. So it's easier to see. Mm -hmm. So you, you do that by clicking this, it's called select background. And then there's this Bing region list tab right here. And then you click create Bing region. And then a window will pop up and then you kind of pick, what was that? You pick wherever. So we're doing Kings Highway and Shaw. That's these timing printouts I have right now. So okay. I'll just do that and then it'll be a good example. So find Kings Highway and Shaw, which I know is right here. And then you click select region. And then you just kind of draw this square wherever you want the picture taken. And then it'll ask you to set a reference point. So then since we're starting from nothing, like we don't have any existing roads or anything, it's not a big deal, but say we had a file that had this road here and we had this intersection on the file, we could click right here and it would, that would be our reference point. And then we would, and then it asks you on synchro. And then if on this file, we had that intersection, we could zoom into that intersection and click that, like where that is on the synchro file. And then when we added, when the picture got added to the file, it would like overlay exactly where we want it. So it would match the existing stuff that's already on there, if that makes sense. Yeah, sorry, my synchro shit is... Is it slow? It's saying there's a software update. Oh, is that... I think you can just hit close. Is it like a little pop-up window? Yeah. Yeah, so I think you can just hit close and just skip that. I think mine says that too. All right. I'm trying to... No, you're good. I'll slow down. So, yeah, the Bing region thing. Mm-hmm. Bing region thing. Select background. Yep. Bing region list. Yep. Is it create Bing region? Yep. yep. Uh-huh. And then, St. Louis. yeah, search St. Louis. So Kings Highway and Shaw is, I don't know if you know where it, so it's like south of Forest Park. If you find 44. Yeah. You know where it's at? Yeah, I think I got it. Okay. And, and then, right there. So then. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. And then where did we make our reference point at? So, like I was saying, it doesn't really matter now because we don't got anything. So I made it at this Kings Highway and McCree intersection. So you can click that. Mm -hmm. And then you can click anywhere on the synchro file because we don't have anything. So, or just keep it at zero, zero if you want. Yeah. All right. And then you should be good. And it's, then yeah. Taking should, should pop this up, hopefully. Yeah, no, I... What the fuck? All right, I'm going to try it again. Nothing came up? I mean, it has the Bing region, like, set. And I pressed OK. So you have this thing here where it says, like, region 1? Yeah, I have it there, but... Is it, it is hide checked right here? No? Uh, let me double check. Because if you check that, it hides it. It's but not it, it's, hidden. Okay, that's weird. Maybe okay. zoom out and try and... Maybe it's somewhere... And my background's black. Hmm. I can share my screen if you want. Yeah, share your screen. Let me see. All right. Wait, I might have to let you do that too. Yeah, let me do Fuck. that really quick. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. No, you're good. Who can share all participants? Who can share Host. Okay. Can you share now? Maybe. 
Yep. Cool. Okay. So, can you see my screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I see, and then I do select back end. Okay, there's my region one. Try and hit, just hit file new and see if it switches from black to green. Hit like, oh, close file out of that. New. Yeah. yeah okay. Just start a new file. I don't know if maybe that might have something to do with it. Yeah, let's do that. We'll see. Maybe not, though. I don't think, I think I've, the black screen's not a big deal. I don't, okay, there. Cool. Cool. Should yeah, be okay so just, now. Yeah, hopefully. And did you do, I'd probably just like from. Yeah, so from like, basically you want to do whatever you're going to be drawing. Since we're really only doing one intersection, it don't really matter, but. And there's a limit on like the size of the square you can have. So if yeah. it's too big, I'll tell you. What does this mean? Like, do I just press OK? So like I was saying, so like say we had that intersection that you set as your reference point already. Mm -hmm. If we had that mapped in synchro, like you could zoom in on that, like that green screen right there and click it. So then the reference points match up. So then when it puts the background on, the background matches what you already have, if that makes sense. Oh. So when you're making big files and you have like multiple being regions together, you can have them so they're set up correctly and not like yeah. something weird, if that makes sense. Okay. So yeah, Press. you can just, yeah, just click okay since we don't have one already. Cool, finally. Yeah, All right, go. let me stop sharing now and then you can get back to it. All good. All good. Okay. So we got this. Can we have like a shawl, which is right here? So to add new links, you can hit this add link or just hit A on your keyboard, which is a lot easier. So yeah. Hit A and then you can draw a cross street and then draw the main line. So if we were doing more than one intersection, you know, it'd probably be like be super long but we're only doing this one so so then that makes this intersection it's really basic doesn't have anything going on right now so then the next thing we'd want to do is if you click on this and right click you can pull up your lane settings so we need to make this intersection look like how it actually does you know have the right lanes and all that kind of stuff so yeah. that's the first step so go to lane settings and then this will pop up with it says lanes and sharing yep. so then you pull it up i normally pull it up on my phone or you can have like google earth pulled up on your laptop mm -hmm. so you want to be able to see like an aerial trying to get this to where i can see it super easy Y'all good? Uh -huh. So I have this on my phone and I can see that. So for southbound, there's a left turn lane. There's two through lanes and then there's a through right lane because there's, you can see that there's those three, three through lanes, but you can also make a right turn. So for southbound, it would be, you'd pick the one left turn. Mm -hmm. And then for the throughs, we have two regular throughs. And then one through right because you can also make a right turn, but you can also go through. Oh, shit, hold on. My lane settings went back to just being. I got it. Never mind. I got. It. So two throughs, and a right. And a through right because if you yeah. look like south of that intersection, there's three lanes where you can go through. So you know you can go through it with all three of those. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you looking at six and one on that picture that you sent, or is it different? No, I'm I'm looking on my phone at like I don't know if you can, on the you Google see. Maps. Yeah, just like a satellite picture that shows like what it actually looks like. Because I think this picture on my screen is really old. Yeah, that's the old configuration. That's just for like, like the phasing and stuff. Okay. So yeah, if you want to pull it up on your phone real quick, it might be easier. Yeah. To my Google Maps is shit. 
but yeah, it's not not the best app feature for sure but then you can click like the layers on google maps and then that's like you can click satellite so then you can actually see like what it looks like yeah yeah or you can do this with google earth or google maps like on your laptop which is probably easier but mm -hmm. and yeah south heading south yep. yeah you got three yep the left turn lane by itself and then the three throughs and Three's one of those throughs one like of those like, throughs shares. I like turn my phone thread. over. <laughs> no, you're good. So that's southbound. Yep. So then eastbound we have, looks like a, like it has its own right turn. So you see those arrows? Mm -hmm. If you zoom in, so there's an isolated right turn. So that would, you just go up here, you click the right turn lane. And Going then, east. Yeah. So is that Shaw mm -hmm. Avenue? Yep. Instead yep. of Shaw Boulevard, because there's a Shaw Boulevard and there's Shaw yep. Avenue. Yep. So it's Shaw, Shaw Avenue. Yep. Shaw Avenue is the eastbound one. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I see that. So you got the right turn by itself, and then that middle lane is a through and a left. So you got your right turn, and then you go to through, and you got a through left. Through left. Yep. I see that. Cool. And so we just go westbound. Yep. We would have is that a through right? It just like I it's hard to tell on yeah. the picture. So sometimes it's easier if you go to like the street view. Yeah. yeah so sometimes the pictures aren't super great. So if you go to the street view, which that's not the right. They don't have a compass on here either. Yeah, when I go to the street view, it's taking me to like the old see here because this intersection just kind of got redid so they kind of right okay so if you so can you see the street view yeah it's pretty shitty but so it, it looks like a through left and a right so it's the same as the other side yeah let me check yeah i see that Okay. Yeah. So it's easier if you can, and that's easier to do on your laptop too. On like Google earth, you can go to street view a lot easier. Mm -hmm. So westbound's the same through left and right, through left, right turn. And then we need northbound, which we can do the same thing. Go to the street view. Yep. So this is kind of a lot of cars on it. So it's kind of hard to tell. But, so I don't think you can make a left turn at this intersection. Yeah. So see, if you look next to like the signal head, there's that no left turn sign mm -hmm, on the street view. Yeah. Like where you'd be looking to, for like the green light. How do you know which is like North and South on the street? view? So I know, I just know because I live down here. And I oh, know okay. So north is to the bridge. So if you if you can see the bridge in the background, yeah, like that's northbound. Okay. So you see how there's that no left turn, like the left turn arrow, and then it's got like the red line through it. Oh yeah, uh huh. See that? Yep. So we know that there's no left turn allowed, so we don't have a left turn movement there. So we have how many lanes? So there's three lanes. We know we don't have a left and we can make a right. So it's going to be a through, a regular through, and then a through right. That makes sense? Yep. A through, a regular, and then a through right. Would you yeah. put that all through on, yep. on the through part instead yeah. of? So the left and rights, you can only make, like, put the isolated turn. So, like, if you click the down arrow under left and right, like, you can't do the through ones in those. Oh. So the through, so the through ones – if it's a through, if it's a shared through lane, it has to be on the through one. That okay. makes sense. Yep. They kind of keep it pretty clear for you. So it makes it a little easier. Sounds good. Okay. So we got, so then if you go back to map view, which is this button in the top left. So we, we got our lanes configured. So if you go back to map view, it kind of looks, you know, more like how it does out there. Mm-hmm. Do you just use the arrows to navigate around? What do you mean? 
like i'm trying to like just drag the map so if you push in if you push in the scrolly wheel thing oh right it it puts the hand and then you can drag cool got that yep yeah that's kind of helpful i should have told you that no you're Um, cool so we got that okay there is one more thing so we got our base lanes but if we still go back to lane settings um there's more we have to do. So if you look at, let me see a good example. So if you look at eastbound for the, like what we just did, you see how the right turn kind of has like a storage lane, like how it kind of opens up and then you can get over. On the map? Yeah, on like your Google Maps. Not on synchro file on like what it, on Google Maps, what it actually looks like. Yeah, yeah, like it, it like leads into the right yeah. lane. Yeah, it like yep. opens up for them. So mm-hmm. it goes from like one lane to two lanes. Yep. So we have to put that in synchro too. So storage length, that's what this is right here, this storage length tab. Yep. So what we would do is you would measure, like on Google Earth, you measure the distance from the stop bar to like where a car can like fit into that lane if that makes sense Mm -hmm. so i'll do it on my phone real quick you can click and then do measure distance so i got about like 75 feet so we'll throw so you just put 75 into where the storage length is and it needs to be under the right turn kind of lane right here i see it so then you put in 75 and you hit enter. And now if we go back and look at it, it has this like storage lane here, which is what it looks like out in the field. True. Got it. Yep. Makes sense. So we do that for the right turn. I'm assuming westbound kind of has the same thing going on. Yeah, westbound has one too. And then you see this a lot on so we'll do it for westbound right now. So same thing, click, measure distance, measure to kind of where they can fit in. I got like 79, so we'll round it up and just say 80. So right. back to lane settings. So westbound right, in the storage link, put 80. And then we got that one done. So then you see this a lot for like left turns. So you know how you're driving on a road and then there's a left turn and it kind of opens up and there's like the storage bay and you can get over and make, get ready to make your left turn. Yeah. So that's most of the time where you see it. It's not super common to see it in right turns, but you definitely do, but it's more so for left turns. So if you look on here, there's kind of one, you see how it under the bridge there's really only three lanes. And there's kind of a little bump out here, kind of by where the exit ramp is. Looking, are you so, looking at um, the intersection here under the bridge? Yeah, so southbound, it's not really like a kind of a true storage ramp, but you can kind of see how like the curve, how it kind of opens up. You see how there's like the solid white line for the left turn line? What direction are you looking at? Southbound. Yeah, I see it. So it kind of opens up. Mm-hmm. So, like, that would be considered one. So, we would measure that distance, too. Okay. And do the same thing. So And you can measure distance on Google Maps, right? Yeah. So, if you long click, it's kind of a confusing thing. Are you looking at it on your phone, you mean? Yes. So, yeah. So, if you long click and then it puts, like, that marker down. hmm And then you can kind of, I don't know, I have an Android. I don't know if you No, have I got it. Measure distance. I yeah, got measure it. distance. And then you can drag that little line wherever you want it to. Yeah, let me do this. Go back. I hope, I just realized something. I hope that, like, when we're talking and stuff, that it's still showing, like, the shared screen. Because you know how, like, sometimes it, like, just shows your comments or, like, you talking or something? I mean, either way, it should be okay. Yeah, that's a good point, though. We'll see. I'll check. See if there's something in those settings. God. Zoom, Zoom is difficult. <laughs> I know. Where like this my window keeps disappearing. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen for a sec. Because I think okay. that's what I need. Okay. Um okay. 